Now, a lot of times, if these guys have a lot of fuzzies, a lot of these guys will have fuzzies right here on their leg. You can pull those out with your fingers. Um, there are, you can get, if, you can get these little finger um, thingies, <laughs> and that will help you pull that hair out. And because you don't want to cut that with thinning shears, you really don't, because all that is is undercoat that you weren't able to get out. And it's so easily pulled. And even here, like on the foot, you'll get the little fuzzies. Just take a few minutes and just pull them out. They'll look so much better. And a lot of times you do get that on the front leg as well. So just take it out, pull. She doesn't have much on her front legs, but a lot of them do. A lot of them have a lot right there. And even if they do have a lot there, a lot of times I'll take my coat king and come up this way, and that will pull that stuff out. They usually have a lot in here in their shoulder and up their leg. So you can use that coat king, or you can even use your stripping knife and come down the leg. And look at all that fuzz that's coming out of that leg. Look. And again, this is my classic coarse knife. And it only takes a minute to go over those legs. And you get so much hair out. And spots like this, it's almost impossible to get this out without using a stripping knife. There's a lot of tools that will just glide right over that. So um, this always comes in handy. This little knife, this little stripper, I can use on so many different breeds every day. It's a great universal, great universal little knife. And it just pulls out all that stuff. In your shoulder, if you've got fuzzies in your shoulder, now, you know, I just de-shedded her in the tub pretty well. But, you know, you still have this fine stuff that, that's hard to get out. Okay, up in your neck. Okay. Same thing in your thigh. You can see little fuzzies in the thigh here. down my leg. And again, this is all a lot it's a lot of work and um, and you need to charge accordingly. These are just not bath dogs that you bathe and you throw in a crate to dry. This is it's a lot of detail work and um, I mean you want to sure you want to charge accordingly. Because people will know the difference. These dogs will not go home and shed. Well, not for a little while, anyway. We can't stop them from shedding. <laughs>